Good morning. It's time for another NFT review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, this one is in pre-mint stage, uh, so you can sign up for the whitelist if you'd like. This is called Icon. Uh, and, you know, just like always on the show, we're just kind of looking at this for really the first time in depth with you guys. So uh, just hang, bear with us. So this website uh, doesn't, there's no scrolling or anything. So it's all in these buttons, right? So you can click code. Strange, beautiful, holy, profane icon can inspire generation to find a moment, kickstart a revolution. Our starts with 10,000 Genesis NFTs. The goal is to create an immersive storytelling platform for the metaverse generation. Join a community of creators and tastemakers and claim your icon NFT to get exclusive access and perks that no currency can buy. Don't just watch the story. Be a part of it. Become an icon. Play the intro. Oh, no. Okay, there's an intro video. Ooh, cool. Cool. <laughs> okay uh there's that's that so that's that's very vague okay uh here's what they're gonna look like i guess so i mean this is definitely there's a lot of unique um i'm guessing artwork going on here because how would you i mean just creating attributes and stuff for for unique character sets is uh definitely complex so i don't know how many different base characters uh there are but it looks like Maybe there's um, maybe there's ten. Yeah, could be, and they're maybe slowly kind of revealing them before the project right. um, goes live. Uh, here's their map. Okay, I'm guessing that means roadmap. This is checked, so the gallery is live. Discover. Okay, so you can see the characters in the interactive gallery. That's what they're calling that. It's the interactive gallery. Very fancy. Radio is in progress. They're gonna have a. A radio, I guess. Tune into Sonic Sounds Radio for an in-world audio experience. Keep an ear out for news, clues, updates, AMAs, exclusive DJ sets, and a mashup of future sounds. Cool. Oh, Game. Cool. In design, we're bringing together some of the world's top creative minds to reimagine the future of immersive storytelling. Surprises in store. It's kind of, uh, you know, kind of vague. Okay, that's... Oh, wait. There's more. Here we go. Oh, just... <laughs> you thought that was it. Drops. NFT holders can expect exclusive access to original comics, one-of-a-kind artist originals, other limited edition content, fashion collabs, uh, cooking events. Is that what? Oh, no, they're cooking the events. Like, it's in the process of you know, <laughs> I, I was, was like, cooking say, events. I was like, <laughs> it's okay, like that took a weird like turn. A party, lifestyle, sounds fun. And then all of a sudden, like, hey, we're going to have home ec courses. It's going to be fun. Uh, I see out the mud says that uh, he's complimenting your toxic skull there. Oh, so nice, nice. Yeah, he said he did the same thing, just not quite as epic as you did. Uh, yeah. Okay, so they're gonna have events, cool. not cooking events, but they're just gonna be events. And full disclosure, events. I am gonna get a tattoo of the skull. It's gonna probably be on my arm. I'm just looking. For, I still haven't found a tattoo artist yet um, that can like that I like that can book me in, you know, within this summer. Cause everyone that I've talked to that I liked is like, Oh yeah, I can get you next year. And I'm like, all right, well I want it now. So, uh, still searching, still searching for my artist, but yeah, going to get that guy. I That's thought you were going to get a face tat of it, but I'm kind of disappointed to hear. I mean, I, I've last, I heard it was going right here, but uh, no, didn't, didn't. <laughs> the wife didn't approve of that one. <laughs> Uh, okay uh, on you're screen funny. You're funny. next the next part of the final part of the roadmap is our big vision is to explore a whole new subgenre of entertainment and interactive experience that pours onto the big screen get in at the start okay so that's all the info okay the mint is um coming soon let me show you the disky real quick or i mean the tweeter uh the twitter here twenty thousand followers Let's look at the in the oh yeah engagements oh well that's their pin tweet can't look at that yeah, engagements all right oh mm, was that a kind of pranksy oh pranksy is uh tweeting about it that's kind of oh cool. that's Just that's legit um you can go to their pre mint here's the details for the pre mint 
got to have 0.1 ETH in your wallet. I know everybody here is just sitting on bags of ETH anyway. Oops. Uh, and uh, <laughs> got to follow them and join their Discord. <laughs> Not too hard to get on the premium if you're interested in this project. Um, mm. So what do you think about this project, Matt? I think they got about 30K in their Discord. I got to look again. That's pretty decent. I mean, I'm not like uh, the artwork is pretty legit. I'm not like a huge like you know me personally, right? Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Oh wait, that dude has artwork fucking keyboards in his car. That's dope. <laughs> That's <laughs> Matt's in. Cool. Matt's aping it. <laughs> yeah, it makes some synth beats on the road, man. That's dope. Yeah, I, can um, hear the, I feel like I can hear the synth. Like there should have been synth playing on that website. Even though I think some like eighties, yeah, dude, kind of annoying, but yeah. Cool. Um, I um, what do I think about this project? I think it's uh, the artwork is legit. Not my style, not my favorite style, right? But um, uh, I could totally see a lot of people loving it. Again, when I look at NFTs, it's not like I have to love it. I have to just think, like, okay, do other people like this kind of shiz? Sure, because maybe yeah. if other people like it, then if I have it, then maybe they'll be able to buy it. Yeah, you know, your maybe, personal maybe, you know, art taste. Is who's not, my exit be the liquidity? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah. uh, yeah, so the artwork is 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 well done. I think um, we'll see, they have well done, they have yeah. the numbers. They have twenty k Twitter. You said thirty k Discord. That's that's great. Um, they have in you know major influencers tweeting about it like Pranksy. That's reassuring i mean there are going to be ten thousand like, of them so i'm sure pranks i'm not saying that pranksy has never tweeted a rug before or anything but you know i'm, I'm uh he's just saying you clout, know he's though. he has clout mm -hmm. yeah for sure he's like og nft uh um influencer dude right so i'm um, you know I, i've definitely bought things from that pranksy has recommended before you know and it turned out pretty decent so um Hey, you know, uh, this, this, I, I would be totally actually interested in a flip on this one. You know, um, I would imagine, is it one per wallet? Is that mint? So here's the or thing there's, there's more? not many mint details right now. There's no date, there's gotcha. no clear price. I am, okay. I'm thinking the price might be 0. 0.1 because they check your wallet for 0. 0.1, but I don't know if they're just checking them to make sure you got it. It's to, probably, yeah. it's probably 0. 0.1 if that's the so, case. Um, um I mean, this would be one I would be. Can you still get on the pre -mint? Yeah. Can you get on the pre list? You can. Till the 30th. Dude, yeah. Till the 30th. I want to I get already it. joined. Let's get yeah, it. I already joined. Oh, you did. Yeah, I already joined. Look, um, so know. this is one where, personally, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch uh, mm. how this starts because, you know, 20,000. And I, I wonder how many will be on the white list because. I just want to see because, you know, 20,000 is a lot, but it's a 10,000 collection, too. So there's a lot. Ah, of these. I was just about to ask how much was been again. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. I hate the 10,000. I'm so, tired of 10,000. Yeah. And to Kansas, I agree. If they had cooking classes, I'd be aping it no matter what. But again, I, I'm cautious on a lot of these unless it seems like it's going to be a slam dunk sellout in 30 seconds kind of thing where you got to activate the bot. But you, uh, most of these projects, I, I'm more and more, I just kind of, I watch, I creep. You creep, you're a creeper, creep, bro. And then I decide. I don't know and that it, about and, you. And, yeah. And if it's going too slow, then people start offloading under the floor or under the mint price all of a sudden because they're getting all scared and paper handing out. When you out got the 10K just, collections like yeah. that, that just runs rampant. You know, like that whole under, yeah. you know undercutting uh, the mint price yeah so that's why you know it, it's got to go at a at a good enough pace where i'm like okay yeah this is gonna happen i'm in you know i don't need a, I don't need it to be selling out for me to get in but i just need to see some momentum right and, and some natural movement on the project yeah i mean this is one of those ones you know i can't damn it dude i'm all right i'll have to <laughs> i'll have to check in i'll have to check into like the i need to do discord do. door right I yeah, I gotta Discord I gotta dive here. deeper into Discord and see how the how the peeps are in there. I mean, because man, I, I tell you, like I uh these these kind of, the 10k projects, I'm just so exhausted of because it's just constant, you know, it's it's just a copy pasta movement, you know. It it immense and then you get a shit ton of people just selling at the floor because they don't realize that. 
0.02 is actually you're losing money when you sell for that kind of type profit. And I don't, it's, it's yeah. rough. And then the reveal drop and all that. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, you do have some, you know, like we were talking about yesterday, there are projects that are doing well after, you know, it's, it's far and few between. Sure. That's where yeah. it goes into discord and see like, is this community, the community that's going to prop this up is everyone on the same page, right? Cause the community, everyone has to be on the same page of like, we're minting. We ain't selling for, um, X, Y, Z, whatever. And, you know, it, that, that's what I would be kind of really looking into is, it's just see how, how, how on the same, is everyone in the community on the same page? Um, this is what I'd be kind of looking into. Uh, yeah. cause if they aren't, and with that, it's like, you know, you go back and forth to some people like, don't like to see communities constantly talking about floor price. But, um, if I'm looking to flip, I kind of want everyone to be talking about, Hey, we're not, I'm not selling until point. I'm. I, I'm. Don't list till point five. Don't list till point two five. Whatever. Whatever. If everyone's on the same page, if you see like a movement like that on the community, that's good to see. You know. Um, but if I kind of go in there and it's just hi, hello, how's it going? Good. Walked my dog today. Went to the gym. <laughs> Had fun, sweet. Well, you know, uh, I, I don't like, know. I, you might, I don't know. Yeah, it'll be. Inter- I'll, I'll be interested to hear your feedback once you get in the Discord because I'm looking at it right now. I don't know. Um, I think someone just said, "GM, I'm yeah. walking my dog." So I don't know. Um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Like, I get it. Like, that's great to have a community like that, but I, that's not really a community that I see like saying, "Hey, we we just want to pump this." You know what I mean? Um, and that, that's kind of what I would like to see, especially the 10 K project. Cause you know, you know, there's just going to be so much, um, FUD selling and everything. It'll be, I don't know. Yeah. Dolph says, no, they don't have to be on the same page. The wash traders need to be on the same page. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. I don't know, understand what goes through people's heads. I, I think a lot of that's just rookie mistakes too. Like, I don't know. I don't know why people do that. Yeah, and, and there's plenty. Of, for... There's plenty of weird stuff going on too. I think you know, there's some sketchy stuff going on. Of course, uh, you know, people moving money around through projects just as their own way of just you know moving stuff around but you know i heard i heard someone again on a space is the other night talking about tax harvesting and stuff on use <laughs> so you know it's just uh you know people are doing weird stuff anyway uh so it's it's hard to tell somebody's motivations for why they're selling at the prices they're selling it's it's it's, there's a lot of different reasons uh mm-hmm. yes Dolph is always dropping yeah. the wisdom yes he is he is he is <laughs> yeah, Dolph, I, Dolph the wise so i would i would say i would i'd be into this project i'd say i'd ape I'd, i'm interested okay. to sign up for for pre-mint see if i get it is it going to be like some sort of lottery system for for pre pre-list or is it just sign up and you're you're on it uh, uh, uh. um let's see Let's go look. It says uh, anyone registered will have the chance to mint. Due to limited supply, we cannot guarantee a mint. When the list mm. is full, all registered wallet IDs will be entered into a randomized raffle. Yeah, Winners of the raffle, raffle okay. will have the opportunity to mint two NFTs. Uh, Any wallet ID is not randomly selected, get a spot on the wait list. If all the L1 ST, I'm guessing first whitelist spots are not claimed during the mint window another randomized raffle will select wallets from the wait list which will then have the opportunity to mint the process will be repeated mm. until sold out interesting so they're okay. just gonna like it's like everyone can be on the white list and they're gonna slowly hack through the white list until they they've sold out that's interesting that strategy is, is, yeah hmm. is, i mean i don't know if i've I've seen stuff like that. I don't know if I've seen it. And it didn't go well. It really doesn't, right? I almost feel like Forever Bots tried that and almost similar, and it didn't really work out for them. Project like that. It was, it was maybe Forever Bots where, but it was worse though, where it was just like, we're only going to have a pre sale, one pre sale, and that's it. And then they added a second pre sale and then said they were going to do public. And then they didn't do public at all. It was just, it was a mess. Yeah, that one was a mess. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't know how. I think that's it could work out for him because this project could have the clout, you know, yeah. to to do pretty decent. So it'll be interesting to see. That'll do we know how many are on the white list right now? Um, no, 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 okay. No. See, Oops. it'll really all depend how many they actually get signed up for it. You know, that's really if that's the only way to mint is to be on that list, then it really depends on how many people they get registered for it. Yeah. Because what they what they pose the risk is is that they don't get enough people on the white list that they don't mint out. And of so course. Then they, then they have to like either cut and then, their and then be like, okay, we are going to do a public right. We're then they vote. go to public mint, and then the mint. price is going to drop because all the fud. Um, that's that's uh, yeah. <laughs> um yeah exactly yeah just working down and so it's kind of like that's that's what i kind of get the i don't know if i'm a huge fan of that or not you know because you really have to be you really have to have a big ass it's list. like an interesting list building strategy though to just let everyone on right you're just trying to build the biggest list possible and then you're gonna just try to just really get those people to uh to mint I mean, it's interesting. And the pre-mint also gets you followers and people in your Discord. So there's a lot of advantages to just kind of allowing an unlimited pre-mint list. Um, really. So Yeah, yes. it's interesting, it's man. Interesting. I yeah, don't know. Well, another one that'll it, be we'll see how that works to watch. Out. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to watch it. I, I think, think next uh, week, yeah. They have we'll, a good we'll chance of pulling week. it off. It just yeah, I just want to see those numbers. Um I guess how many how many do you think they would have to have on their white list to sell out? 10,000. A lot. Because that's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to think in my head. What number would I be happy with? The, the whole thing is like, their, their these are not, these are just people who are piling in. So a lot of these people might not mint, you know, like me. Uh, so <laughs> it's, you know, it's know uh, how many that. of those are actually gonna, hardcore and going to mint is really the question, right? And then how many get the raffle when they do the raffle, how many of those are allowed in, right? Like what's that final list look like? And if it's only like 5,000 people, they're going to need to uh, put a lot of pressure on their community to really to push it. But, you know, I've seen crazier. I've seen way more messed up stuff happen and projects sell out that just like blows my mm. mind. So, I mean, I would think, okay, so if they want to mint, all if, if their goal is to mint all ten thousand, um, and within the first round of of of, of uh, 10, 000, um, drawing draw, that raffle, right? I would say because about f uh, we'll we'll say five thousand will probably buy that. That's what you probably that's need to need. convert, yeah. Yeah. and so what is that? Um, I mean, I would, I'd probably want to see on that raffle. Um, I'd say probably like close to 30, 30,000. I know I that's, I, I'm like, I was originally thinking 20, but I was like, how is that even going to be possible with the numbers in their community? It's just not possible to have um, 20. It's just there. because what's going to happen is people are going to, you're going to have a lot of people just sit back and wait to see how close it gets submitting out. And, you know, it's like, Oh, if that first if that first wave of raffle people they they mint out like a couple thousand two three thousand um that is that going to be enough to trigger the next wave to be like oh yeah i'm so confident this project's going to sell out it's going to ape i'm going to ape in right you got to get that well so yeah, like, you, you so would you job. then so would you what would be the number that that first wave if you were in the second wave what would be the number that that first wave would have to sell uh, for me, Over I'd be half. looking at, I'd be, and Over I'd be half. looking at the ratio of owners too. You know, if I saw, yeah. okay, and if I knew how many were in that first whitelist group, let's say there was five thousand allowed in, right? And you had, you know, at least uh, half of those buy. You know, let's say you had twenty five hundred of those buy, so you'd be like maybe at five thousand sold, maybe. Then I'd be like feeling pretty optimistic about that yeah. second round. See, for me, yeah. the first wave has to sell half of it, at yeah. least over 5,000 is what I would say Yeah, uh, for me to be a little confident that the you next wave of buyers will wave, be able to right? sell. And then, and then maybe the third wave can, can finish it out kind of deal. Yeah. Um, that's what I would be looking at. Probably. It'd be brutal to have to go to the third wave probably, but yeah, I mean, it would sell out if it had to, if it was that close, it would probably sell out then in the third wave. 
I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I'm, we'll watch. We'll watch. It'll if be the, they had, think, think of how many schemes. people they've got. To... All these schemes yeah. are just interesting to see how they play out because they're all putting different psychological pressures on their groups in different ways. So, yeah, because yeah. what's going to happen, right? Because you'll have like, right? Let's say they allow 5,000 at a time. We're just creating numbers in our head, right? They allow 5,000 people to mint first round, right? 50% of those people actually mint. Then the second round, they're like, okay, 5,000 more. I bet you less percentage actually mints from that second group. Right, you're gonna just you're, every yeah. every group that you allow yeah. to mint, you're gonna probably be shrinking the actual amount of people group. Yeah. is actually minting out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and then because yeah, what's gonna happen too? You're gonna have now. you're gonna have the paper hands minting, throwing it up on open sea for like 0 .01, 0 0 0.02 above floor, and um, you know, so then you're gonna have people scooping the floor instead of even trying to get through the mint, and it's it's gonna be yeah that that kind of these kind of things, you know, the, the whole whitelist thing is is a little bit sketch. I really would like to, yeah, I'm gonna be watching to see what the numbers are. How many people they yeah. got in the whitelist? How many are they raffling out the first round? And then seeing how that all converts. Yeah. Um, and Dolph and, saying, uh, you know, can't they use sock puppet buyers to keep you, you confident? That's totally a hundred percent. I'm I, I I'm I'm positive. Lots of projects are uh, use uh, yeah, essentially just lots of wallets to um, and and yeah. buying you know use doing their own shenanigans. It's like you know in the book sales world where like you know to get on the best sellers list, essentially they'll be buying their own books sometimes. You know just to as a marketing scheme. You know so uh, yeah, I mean and that is also like you know not Yoda saying yeah. that's why you have to keep it. Yeah, on you watch the smart contract. Yeah, we you know when we're watching a mint, we look at Ether Scan. You know, because yeah. we want to watch every, we want to be able to quickly look at everything going on with um, the mint live. Um, yeah, I don't watch really open C. I check open C for floor price, but that's it really. So during a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I think that's probably good. For we today. did a long one on this we one. Did, Damn. Yeah. We did a nice one, but you know, these are all the interesting and relevant things to be chatting about. Yeah. I think, when you're looking at projects. So, um, yeah. yeah, but I think uh, that is going to do it for us today. 